sitting comfortably like I'm in an Uber or in a boat ride. So wish me luck. No internet, no SIM card, just me and some directions to get to where I'm going to. I'll see you guys. Hopefully. If I post this video, you know I came back safe. If I don't, yeah, I'll just come find me in Ghana. I cannot see myself. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, my neighbors. It's day three in Ghana and I'm about to set out. So today is going to be a different, different kind of vibes, like a different kind of vibes. I'm going to this very prominent destination in Ghana. But first, I want to try out what they call the tro tro. That's like the public transportation. Like, you know, I'm a Nigerian girl. I'm a Lagosian. We're used to um, you know, jumping the damn full bus. So I'm about to try their public transportation and it's called the tro, tro I want to have an experience. So guys, come with me. Let's go have some fun. Welcome to day three, Ghana. Guys, we're getting for the we're waiting for the bus to get filled up. Then we'll set out. I think we have many like four more people, four more people, and it's like three, three on his seat, sitting comfortably, like I'm in an Uber or in a boat ride. So wish me luck. No internet, no SIM card, just me and some directions to get to where I'm going to. I'll see you guys. Hopefully, if I post this video, you know I came back safe. If I don't, yeah, I'll just come find me in Ghana. What is it called? What's the name? Look it down now. What's the name? What's the name? But go to me, me, what's wrong? Guys, it's currently 9 12 right now. It's exactly one hour since I bought it. And not even one passenger has boarded after me. Well, I've slept, woken up. I think I'm about to lay my head again while I wait for this to get loaded. It's about to be a very long day. And the location I'm going to is like about one hour plus away. Let's be hopeful that it, this gets filled up before 10 a.m. so that we can set off. So guys, we're moving. The bus is not yet full. I think it needs like two more passengers, but they're already moving. I'm out, okay. Let's go. Guys, I'm in deep shit. I didn't know that. Of course, I know I was going to hike, but I didn't know it was going to be so, so high. And guess what? I wore high slippers and I'm not with any low slips. So look at my leg right now. Plus, I have an injury while coming here. I don't know how I got injured, but I have an injury. No, I don't know how this happened. We're yeah. going to be hiking barefooted. Don't know how that's gonna work, but I'm here, and the purpose for today has to be achieved. Yeah, I'm ready for the safari car. Okay. Come to me. I'm having my first safari experience today. Okay, they were living in Nigeria in a place known as Inefe. Yes, in it. Okay. And um, that's where they migrated from and then ended up uh, settling in what's now the Shire Hills Resource Reserve. Okay. And living here for about 900 years until they were sad by the British. We're almost at the okay. Elephant Rock. Uh, we just pulled them and, and get to the point. Uh, if you need any assistance, I'm here to so when you visit Shire Hills, our uh, most popular attractions are places we call the historical and cultural sites. And uh, these places are in the form of hills and caves that are scattered within the reserve. Okay. 
Their community. Their communities were up in the hills over there. Mm-hmm. And so they'll come from there, then stay on this particular hill for six months, then take them to the point. Now, what they were doing was that at that time, uh, the shy people believed that it was the ladies or the woman's place to be the one to take care of the home. That's what they believed in. And so they would bring their ladies here so that they can groom them and train them on how they will take care of them. Homes now, I think we use blender when we are trying to make food. But now, uh, at that time, they didn't have any form of blender. And so if they wanted to make anything, they had to grind. Uh, in their communities, they had compound grinding areas that they were using, but they couldn't carry those ones to the scale. So when they came here, they had to learn how to grind, how to create these grinding areas, because if they wanted to make food, they had to grind. They wanted to make medicine, they had to grind. If they even wanted to make things they would apply on their skin, or even create their creative things on their body. Mm-hmm. They had to grind all of that. Mm-hmm. And so that's why we have a lot of these grinding areas scattered all across. The why to go through the puberty right is that you have to be a virgin. Mm-hmm. And if you are not a virgin, it means you are disqualified to if you sit on the stone, you get stuck on the stone. And that's what the shy people believed in at that time. And so all the ladies that qualified, they took them to where they would bath them, and then cleanse them, purify them, and then they would wrap some beads around their waist, with some decorations on their body, bare chested, and then they would match them in their communities. And then the men that wanted wives among those ones. Those that sat on the stone and got stuck on the stone, they had to actually perform some rites before they could get them. And then after that, you sack them from their communities because they had brought shame, their family and their family. Now, this hill also has another form of history that I would want to talk about. Um, in the 1960s, uh, during the era of the Cold War, uh, Ghana's first president felt that he was in danger. Uh, he was a founding member of the non-aligned movement. Uh, it was a movement which was not either aligned with the East or aligned with the West. I think you being from Germany, you actually understand how the world was divided in, during the Cold War. Mm-hmm. And so Ghana's first president uh, felt that he could be attacked either by the West or by the East. So he wanted to train his own presidential guard. Now, this is one of the areas soldiers were staying when they were undergoing that kind of training and presidential guards. And if you even go behind this bush, you'll see evidence of where they used to put their flag for and then where they were staying when they were cleaning from the particular area. Now, this is very important because it was through that process that you saw how beautiful this whole thing was. And they decided to make this place a reserve in mm. That's how this place ended up. It's something that's very important to us. We also want to get out of about that. So this is where the ladies were sleeping. Oh, oh, this tiny cave. Uh, oh, so all the people that could come, the old ladies and the young ladies, they would all crawl in and sleep within this particular oh, cave. This is the skull of an elephant. Uh, the bone structure of the head of the elephant is made up of the skull and then the lower jaw. So this sits on this on the head of the elephant. And they are like the small elephants in the picture. So this is not even a big elephant, this is a small elephant. The African elephant has 21 heads. We first move this. 
as the ribs. ribs. Because it's two of them is inside of them. Mm-hmm. And you kind of try and hold it. Okay. Hold on. 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 Hold I have to use two hands, I'm not a man. It's heavy. Okay, so I am done at Shy Hills. I'm currently at La Paz Bus Park. And I'm the first passenger. If you can remember, like, earlier in the video, in the morning, I had to wake up, like, Almost an hour or so before the bus even get filled up. So I don't know what's going to happen now, but I'm the first passenger right now. And I think we're going to wait for this to get filled up or almost filled up before we leave. And it's currently 2.17. I might as well sleep or something. Oh, yes. Let's see how long it will take before this bus gets filled up. But I'm heading back to, I'm heading back to my apartment. I need to, um, you know, take a rest. I'll figure out what my plans are for the rest of the day. Guys, I made it. <laughs> I'm very close to the house. Very, very close. I'm like five minutes away. I just need to walk down. Guys, it's time to go to the beach. I'll feature. check. Okay. Okay. Ready. Ready. Not that I look like an African queen, but I could go there. See you guys at the beach. Let's go to the beach. Beach. Let's go to the way. <laughs> guys, me and Rose were tuning with our outfits. I cannot see myself. <laughs> Guys, we don't know what's going on, but we are frustratingly waiting for our ride. He said he's in front of the street, but we can't see him. And it's already getting dark, and we need to get like very nice pictures and videos from the beach. Or well, it's my fault. I went, I went out. I should have been back early, but there was a bit of traffic on the road. But yes, we have to still make good use of today or tonight and get. Hopefully everything comes out nice, the pictures, the videos, everything comes out nice. Yeah. Guys, we're in traffic. Yeah. In traffic. I think this is beach road. So there's traffic here. The entrance to the beach is so we just got our tickets. Ten Ghana cities. Alora. One stitch. Wow. What about the chicken wing? The chicken wings, we have 10 pieces. Here. Yeah. We have the regular one, 120. Spicy one, 120. 